Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of season 6 here in the career mode RTG. We have a very difficult month again. It's quite similar to the month of December in that we face Everton, City and Chelsea within the space of a few weeks. Everton a 6th, Chelsea a 5th. We're 7th, City a little bit further down the table in 11th. We also have Wolves as well today. That will be the one simulated game of the episode and we'll play Chelsea, Everton and Manchester City in today's video. We start with Everton at home, then it's Chelsea at home as well. Wolves is also at home and then we face City away from home. So we shall try and pick up as many points as possible. How we've slipped from 1st to 7th in the course of two episodes, I'm not entirely too sure. I'd very much like to get myself back up into the Champions League spots today if we possibly can. So we'll start at home against Everton and take it from there. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any more. And fingers crossed, we'll be in the European spots by the end of the episode. I've only had to make one change to Everton's starting lineup. That is putting Ryan Session on the right-hand side of midfield. And to be fair, I'll probably swap him and Onyokuru because that's the way round we played them last time. Uh, Vesic and Idrissa Garner Gay in the midfield this time ahead of uh, James McCarthy, I believe, was in there last time we played them. Gilby's not even involved in the uh, reserves. 88 rated. Uh, Jordan Pickford will continue on in goal. We drew last time we played Everton, I think. I, can't, I genuinely can't remember. I think we drew. Pretty sure we drew. I remember Henry on Yukura scoring an absolute banger. I think it was a draw. I can't remember. Right. Regardless of what it was last time, I want to win this time. Lee forward to Morellas. Back to Tom Davies. Like needs Sabi to make me the run, but he's just stood there. He's just holding off. Good, Sabi. Look for Adamola Lookman. Morellas is in the middle. Adamola Lookman might not need him. Cuts in well. Shot. Is very well blocked by the defender and after 20 minutes we'll stay at nil-nil here against our European challenging rivals. Or oh, intercepted by him. Adam Ola Lookman, sorry. Across here to Javier Morelles. I want to get it on his left. Oh, I couldn't bend it. We'll look for Ziegler. Was he onside? I'm not sure. I don't think so. The answer is yes, he was. So Elite Lee will continue on. Turns well. Finds Sabi out of his feet. Shot blocked. Ziegler brings it down. Oh, it's a bit for Davis. Oh, given away. Maxi Romero, cross there to Ryan Sessegnon. Nice little dummy Amavi. by Jordan Amavi. Back to Petzella. Besic. Back to Besic. Back to Amavi. Sessegnon easy. the building well here, Everton. Inside to Amavi, down the line there to Mason Mount. Cross comes in. Win that header, please, Elliot. He's done well, but... Well, he's done well to win it. He's not done well to aim it towards a teammate. That's for sure. Henry Onyakura to Maxi Romero. Into the middle. That will be over Bogle. And Sessegnon will put it over the bar. Nil-nil at the break. Pretty slow first half with chances coming at a premium. Oh, wow, Mason Mount. Well, chances may have been at a premium, but when one came about in the second half, they haven't hung about. What a hit from Mason Mount. How far out was that? He started it, got it across, then Onyokuru into the middle, and oh, it's about 25 yards, and he's pinged it first time. Beautifully into the top corner. Great angle for it as well. Oh, Ben sets it outside the defender and it whips round. That's, oh, that's top draw. That's a ridiculous goal from Mason Mount. Everton 1, Cambridge 0. Elliot Lee down the line there to Ziegler. There's Morelles. Sabi's there. Morelles is going to go again. Sabi doesn't need it. He's just going to accelerate away. We'll look for Adebola. 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 Oh, I don't even say his name. Adamola Lookman. It's 1 1. We haven't been behind for more than a couple of minutes. Against his four. Oh, I should have done the. Should have done the apology celebration. Against his former team. Adamola Lookman gets us back level. Lovely turn his side. Not right in the corner, but shot power enough to beat Jordan Pickford. I trip over my tongue, so I have Adamola Lookman and Dennis Adabola as my two left wingers. But. We're able to get ourselves back level, and it really was just a couple of minutes after they scored that we've equalised. Exactly the response we wanted. Can we keep that going and now go and get a second to go in front? Good header by Ziegler. Morellas will take that in his stride. He's got a man on his shoulder, but we can get that back to Tom Davies. And he'll look for Sabi. It's a lovely ball through. And he'll look for Adamola Lookman again. I'm going to have to find a teammate on this occasion. 
Oh, Davies quickly to Ziegler. We are in front. Composure. A needed composure right there. To not pull the trigger too early. On the cutting side, not the best of passes. I could have shot first time there with Tom Davies, but I didn't. Saw the run that Ziegler was making, backing off the defender to the side. Turns well. Good second touch to get a better angle and then buries it in the bottom corner. We've turned it around in the second half. We went 1-0 down early on. Early on, less than 15 minutes later, we're 2-1 in front. Savvy. Go back there just to keep possession. Conti through the gap to Davis. Oh, closed down quickly by Henry, on Henry Onyakura, who was rather determined there. And he's found his way through to Maxi Romero, and he's thumped it home. This game has come to life in the second half. This is ridiculous. Everton 2, Cambridge 2. Missed out in the midfield. Conti went for it, just couldn't quite get there. And was a hell of a finish from Maxi Romero. Right. 2-2. Two, two. Back to the drawing board once again. Unbelievable game of football. Henry Onyakuru around the corner to Sergi of Maxi sorry, Romero. Thankfully, he went straight to Angus Gunn rather than to his teammate that was waiting for it in the middle. Davies will get this down the line. It's a nice ball looking for Ziegler. We'll just get there first. Isaac Morris. Brett dribbling. Good turn. Get it forward to Savvy. Ziegler's made the run. We're playing through the gap. Come on, Ziegler. I need you to get away here. Ziegler. Ha -ha. Oh, that might drop from Adam Ola, Adam Ola Lutman. No, but we'll take corner. Goal kick. It is going to be a corner. I was a little bit lucky with how that came about. Can we make the most of it? No. Vogel. Out to Ziegler. Back inside there to Tom Davies. Across to Oscar Hill. It's now or never. We really could do with this goal. It's a lovely ball through, but... Adamola Lookman can't get to it. And as soon as Jordan Pickford even thinks about kicking it, there'll be the final whistle. We drew both of our games yesterday by two goals to two against Crystal Palace and against Watford. And we started today with another 2-2 draw. Both chance, both sides sorry, having exactly the same amount of chances and chances on target. So to be fair, on that occasion, you'd say that a draw is a fair result. Against the side that's up there with us, uh, to be fair, avoiding defeat is more important than getting the win. And we're so close there. Look, we're still only two points away from third place Leicester after everybody's played those games. Liverpool still there on 39 points with us. This title fight is going to go... Well, the top four fight especially is going to go down to the wire. The title fight will probably do the same. We'll give... Oh, I trained one. We'll give Elliot Bailey a, uh, a quick training drill. And then we shall go and play Chelsea. I haven't had to make any changes to Chelsea's starting lineup whatsoever. That is particularly impressive as a team. Kepa's 89, Bentancur is 89, Valverde's 86. They've got Leandro uh, Martinez up top. Sorry, Lautaro Martinez up top. Diogo Jota on the left. Tony Musson is 85 rated on the right. Hazard is on the bench. He's 86 rated now. His physical stats have taken a, a bit of a hit, or at least his pace has. And his finishing is only 75 now as well. I'm not sure what his finishing was earlier on in uh, in the save. They've got Simeone and Pulisic on the bench as well. 81 rated, 33-year-old Tiro Immobile. Pashalic is there. 90 rated Koulibaly, luckily for me, is injured. 77 rated Jerome Boateng. 70 rated David Luiz, who still hasn't retired, even though he's 36. This is going to be a really, really difficult game. In there to Morelles, caught on it by Bentan Court. It's Ferland Mendy. I'm really expecting this to be a particularly difficult game. We saw how Tottenham absolutely rinsed me a couple of episodes ago. Absolutely battered me by three goals to nil. Bentan Court will find Diogo Jota playing in a Chelsea shirt now, rather than a shirt not too dissimilar from mine, to be fair, colour wise, at Wolves. I really don't expect to come away with anything from this game, but strange things have happened in career mode. Siegler. Oh, Chelsea are the highest scoring team in the league, apparently. 39 goals in 24 matches. Not sure what their defense... Oh, jeez. All right, Kepa. Not sure what their defensive record is like, but I'd certainly like to have a, a go at tackling their defensive record. Perella. To be fair, that was probably headed towards the top corner without the interception, or intervention, sorry, of the goalkeeper. Not a bad effort from our centre-back. 18 minutes in. Oh, they've given that away. 18 minutes in, it's still nil-nil, although I might be able to do something here if I can get Sabi back into a goal-scoring position. Valverde with a fancy touch. Sabi into Elliot Lee. 
Oh, but I've run it too hard. And Ede Militao steps in well. This player I wouldn't mind having at Cambridge United. Free kick for Chelsea in a really good position. Is very central. Almost exactly in the middle of the pitch. But hopefully the wall does its job. And we'll be able to claim it with Angus Gunn. We'll just bowl that out there to Jane Bogle. I'll try and catch him on the counter if I can. Ziegler takes that under control really well. He's up against Ferlan Mendy here. He's a particularly talented young defender. Davies through the gap there looking for Savvy that's found who's found well. Elliot Lee out to Lookman. Back into Elliot Lee, preferably, and looking for Javier Morales on his right, not his left. And you can tell that it was his weaker foot. Comfortable for Kepa. Corner at the end of the first half for Chelsea to take. Charlie Musonda will deliver it. There it is. Up we go with the header. Bentancourt wins it. And Chelsea lead by a goal to nil at the very end of the first period. 89 rated Benton Court had an effort at the beginning of the half that flew a long way wide with his feet. With his head though, with two defenders with him, he's flicked off brilliantly. What a header. Outstanding from Benton Court. Chelsea lead. There's Lautaro Martinez driving across. Holds me off really well. Pulisic back to Martinez, well held by Gunn. That's a leap up to his right-hand side. Yeah, pretty cold rolling around on that floor. It's Ferland Mendy, though, intercepting the pass. 1-2 was always the obvious option for him. Headed up by Perella, not away. Conti will help that out. Davis with a fancy touch. And that's actually played me into danger. And Pulisic gets to base the post and it goes out for a goal kick. Four. Right, Eden Hazard coming on for Diogo Jota. Hopefully we can keep Eden quiet. He's Pulisic. Turns inside really well. Back there to Bentan Kaur, their goal scorer. Adam Ola Lookman oh, steals it off him but then just stumbles and doesn't think about taking the ball with him. wan with the delivery. Morella heads away, only as far as Valverde. Bentan Kaur, Pulisic picked off. Oh, a free kick given for a late challenge on Valverde though. They hit the wall with the last one. Bentancourt stood over it this time. Eden Hazard there too, but he won't be taking it on his left. Or will he? Yes, he will. No, he won't. He'll be laying it off to Valverde. Strike. To Elliot Lee. Space now for Adamola Lookman to break into. Wembisaka out of position. Savvy is in the middle. I'm going to have to cut back, though. Adamola Lookman's done brilliantly so far. Swept up wide to Ziegler. Duck back. Look for Savvy. It's actually Lookman. The equaliser is here. Yes! 1-1 one, one against Chelsea. Adamola Lookman has been popping up with goals left, right and centre in the past few episodes. Took me a while to get going with him. Now he's started to score goals. He's not stopping. Ball out to Ziegler. I'll be honest, I was meant for Sabi there, but it went all the way through to Lookman. And he's hit it early to catch the keeper out. And we have our late equaliser. Oh, we might be taking a point from Chelsea. Not sure whether we deserve it or not, but I will certainly take it. Oh, it wouldn't quite fall for Elliot Lee. Morales quickly to Lookman. Obvious ball there is Junior Furpo on the overlap. Cross. Decent. Oh, Sabi wouldn't, just wouldn't challenge for it. Hazard's flicked that away, and that might be the end of any opportunity either side has to get themselves a winner here. If Sabi had attacked that ball, I'm sure he could have gotten to it to give us a 2-1 lead here. Nice little flick. I'll give that to Ziegler. I'll draw it to the back post. Oh, Lookman's there again! Cambridge 2, Chelsea 1. We're going to win at home against Chelsea. Adam Ola Lookman really can't stop scoring. Great football. I'm delighted with that. We didn't deserve a point. We certainly don't deserve all three, but we will gladly take them. I'll let Sabi off now for not attacking that ball. Oh, I don't really know how I've been able to pull that off. But pull it off, we have. Unless they do something right now on the counter or from kickoff. There's just seconds remaining. And loftus Cheek doesn't get the opportunity. Three points for Cambridge United. You saw Ziegler's reaction on the far side. Down on his haunches. Both fists clenched and shaking in celebration. Cambridge 2, Chelsea 1. Until we scored that goal in the 82nd minute, I'd had one shot on target all game. I didn't deserve that at all. Thank you for the three points, though. Ta very much. Up next for us was actually the simulated game against Wolves. And then we'll play City. Brighton, a second in the Premier League. Right, Wolves at home. We're going to have to be careful of Antti Ribic, as you can see there. He's on ten goals and currently fourth 
in the uh, league's top goal scoring charts. They're in indifferent form. Draw against Bournemouth, win against Burnley, defeat against Southampton. We too are in pretty indifferent form, to be fair. Rebic is starting up top for them. With Fanaga at left foot, five at the back then again for them. Gibbs, White and Lopez in the middle with Costa, Rebic and El as their front three. Oh, and El has given them the lead just before half-time. Just after half-time, we've... Oh, we've equalised. Then as I look back to the screen, I see that Rebic has made it 2-1 to Wolves. Please, no. Please, no. No, please. Right, OK. 2-1 defeat against Wolves. That's annoying. Kind of throws away all the advantages or progress we've made thanks to the win against Chelsea. Although... Oh, a number of teams around still got two games in hand. We're probably going to drop down to at least at least sixth, if not seventh, if Chelsea win their game in hand as well. Oh, maybe even eighth if Everton win theirs. Oh, Christ knows what's going to happen. But basically, we're going to yo-yo all season now. Every every team in the top eight or nine is going to yo-yo between now and the end of the year, and I couldn't possibly let you know where I'm going to finish. We could finish as high as first. We could finish as low as ninth or tenth. At this rate, absolutely no idea. Player returns from injury is good news. That will be Suarez Garcia. Thank you very much. Now, how has Javier Morelos been getting on this year? Because Suarez Garcia does does Suarez Garcia Suarez Garcia did create quite the partnership with. Um, Emmanuel Sabi and Sabi's goals have dried up a little bit of late, but Morelles is scoring goals. Not necessarily getting assists on a too frequent basis, but nine goals, two assists in 24 games is pretty decent. Lookman with 10 and seven assists as well to go with it. Uh, Emmanuel Sabi, only the seven goals so far in the Premier League with five assists. That's very unlike him. Very unlike him. Uh, I shall take Isaac Morris off there and we'll put Suarez back onto the bench uh, oh these are all of the youngsters that come back from loan that I now need to figure out what to do with well put them back on the loan list I guess is the uh, the obvious answer Lewis Baker's come back our five star five star youngster with pff, relatively poor physical still but he's got 99 dribbling and 93 ball control 83 curve 81 short pass so he's getting there but again the physicals are pretty dead Adebola's decent unfortunately his first team action has been kind of limited recently with uh, only the reserve team games in the cup. So I was going to see it can come back to the bench for us. Turner and, I mean, Patrick Turner is looks more of an all-round player, doesn't he, than, um, than the higher-rated Baker. So I'm going to leave Patrick Turner there on the bench, actually. Right, I'm quite happy with that. We'll bring Suarez Garcia back into the fold. Which is good news. Let's go and see what Manchester City starting lineup looks like. Looks like everybody's at full strength for City, or at least their starting lineup is full strength. No, not at full fitness, but 90 Edison, 86 Benjamin Mendy, Laporta 88, Cisco Aregen at 85, Tet at 83, Douglas Luiz 83, Foden and Bernardo Silva's 91 rated. Wow. Jesus 92, Sané 92, and Raheem Sterling 89. Could throw Garcia in there, but I don't think there's anyone really that you'd say is a definite weak link in that side. They started a weaker rotation side against us in a game we simulated earlier on in the season, and they still came away with a very handsome win. So against their full strength side, Christ knows what's going to happen. Oh, uh, Tar just literally kicked that straight at me. It was terrible. We'll look for Ademola Lookman over the top. And he's got the pace to keep it in. And he'll look for someone at the back post. Unfortunately, won't reach Sabi or anyone. Lee, I'll give it back to Elliot Lee here because of his long shot ability. And I don't really know how that's ended up in the top corner when he hit it low. Mm, I want to see a replay there, please. Look as if it maybe took a deflection. The keeper went down and it down low and he went up into the top corner, perhaps off his hand. Really need to see a replay of that. Lee out of his feet, played the 1 2, and then. Oh, that's just diabolically poor goalkeeping. Perhaps he had perhaps he had to wait until late and saw it late because of all the players in front of him. I'll let I might let him off for that. You guys can be the judges of that. Has Edison made a mistake there, or because of the the sheer number of players in front of him, is he completely unsighted there when the ball's on its way through to him? Get it back to Elliot Lee. 
He can't see a thing at the minute, Edison. And then as the ball's on its way through there, can't react, can't react, has to react now. Gets an elbow on it. Maybe that's just one of those things where it's come through a, a bunch of bodies. And he's had to react very, very late and just didn't get it right. Probably a mistake, but you can't be as harsh on him, I think, as I initially was after seeing the replay. Mendy still loitering on the outside. Here's Bernardo Silva again. Great. So, my attempted clearance, cannons off a City player. And they just mop up. It's good football, but the amount of times that I try and play out from the back and make mistakes and then get told in the comment section, you should just get rid of it, says. And then the time I try and get rid of it, it, it comes back to haunt me because the ball just cannons around and then City make the most of it. Right then, 1-1. One, one. Look for Sabi there. He's going to have the pace to get to this. It might be 2-1. Sabi, oh Edison with a save. Foden to Kenny Tet to Raheem Sterling, great delivery. Gabriel Jesus makes it 2-1 City. They've turned it completely around. We've done it to oppositions in the past. We did it to the opposition in the previous played game, and now City have done it to us. The only thing that we have in our favour that Chelsea didn't is that they've done it so early that we have the opportunity still to be able to turn it around. Alternatively, Manchester City have the opportunity still to score a number more. We'll wait and see which happens. Can't really do much at the minute. They're keeping the ball away from me and I can't get anywhere near it. Silver to, sorry, Sané to Jesus. That deflected, but we'll try and get it away and we haven't been able to. And no, thank you, Angus. Holy moly. Even when he picked it up, I thought he was still going to sprint over the line with it in his hands. Sterling, across there to Kenny Tett, down the line looking for Phil Foden, good first touch, decent delivery too, Bogle can't win the header, Sané does, but thankfully we're able to win it with, oh don't forget the ball, Ziegler, bloody hell, oh and they're pushing high here City, thankfully we've been able to get it away, look for Sabi, and then support is arriving, Davies, around the corner to Ziegler, looking for the runner Sabi, and at the back post is a teammate, Oh, Laporte gets a block on it. That's a couple of times in today's episode alone where Javier Morales has been on his own at the back post and I just haven't been able to find him with a cross. The defender in front of me putting in a very good block each time. Savvy through the gut there to Morales who spun well. Morales, I'll pull it back looking for Savvy. Oh, that's a poor pass. Didn't fancy Morales on his right foot against a 90 rated goalkeeper to be completely honest. Lookman. Down the line looking for Furpo. They swapped roles for the time being. City have committed a lot of men forward there. And we could catch them on the counter here really nicely. Morelles looks for Furpo again. We'll look for Savvy. Oh, but it's not going to reach him. That might reach Tom Davies. It did, but Bernardo Silva closed it down just quickly enough. Making some changes here. Morelles going off. And Suarez Garcia on in his place. Uno has also come on on the right hand side for Ziegler. Oh, and I can't get that to Emmanuel Savvy. Substitute for oh, nice interception City. by Uno. I have to be honest, well, this is in evaluation, since Elliot Lee came into the starting lineup, I don't know whether it's directly, whether it's a direct correlation between Elliot Lee coming in and our league position failing or faltering. I'm not sure. We have played City twice, Everton twice, Chelsea twice in the past three months. So I might need to give it a little bit longer before I make a definitive decision, but we certainly have had worse results in the past few months since Elliot Lee took over up in the midfield ahead of Oscar Hill. And to be fair, if it, if Sabi, we're certainly missing the goals of Sabi as well. That's certainly something to take into consideration. Perhaps I should give Gerzic a run in the starting lineup. Sabi could win this header perhaps, he's flicked it on brilliantly and Suarez Garcia is in behind now. What a welcome back to the team this would be for Suarez Garcia. Ah! I think is all I have in response to that. Accelerated away brilliantly, got himself in a great position, even stopped sprinting to try and get a more accurate finish. And then he came up with that sliced effort. That's going to be a 2-1 defeat away from home at the Etihad. So we draw with Everton. We beat Chelsea and then lose to City. 
And after losing to Wolves, that's frustrating. Wolves now draw with Watford. West Ham beat Blackburn. We dropped to eighth in the table, I think, prior to that game. So our league position isn't going to have improved at all. In fact, we've dropped to ninth now. There's still 11 games of the season left for us. We'll go as far as the next game just to see what the league table looks like as we head into the next episode. But uh, Wood was the last player we trained, I think. So we shall train Henriksen. Yeah, I'm not. I've, I might give Gerzic a few games. I'm not sure. We have had a very difficult run of fixtures. Oscar Hill's starting to worry about his role at the club. And I, I was slightly concerned that uh, Elliot Lee, despite getting the goal in that game and playing relatively well, he hasn't, you know, completely changed the way that the side plays. He has gone up to 81 rated now. So his stats is continuing to grow. 99 short pass, 96 stand tackle. Good ball control, good dribbling. I might continue on with Elliot Lee for a little while. And I'm going to throw Gerzic up top for Sabi next month. I think the change is going to happen. It's nice to have Suarez Garcia back. Hopefully that can help us. Adam Ola Lookman is now 85 rated and our outright highest rated player. But as we head into the last few months of the season, we've dropped to 10th. We're only four points off first. Four points off first and we're in 10th. Wolves are only four points in first and they're in 11th. This is quite possibly the tightest league season I've ever had in any career mode. It's actually silly. That'll do us for today's episode though. Do drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to this channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. And I will see you in the next one.